Llewellyn, Colby Gervais, Colton Anderson, Colton Anderson Jared, Jared Wayho, yeah. yeah. Jesse Stansfield, Jesse Jamie Sparks, Jamie Sparks Colby Tenney, Tenney, Matt Nielsen, Matt Nielsen Scott, 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 Yanota, Yanota Warren Stang, Warren Stang and, and Toby Obi Bobble. 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 Yeah, I don't have that. I don't have that. You don't have that one? Yeah, that I had yeah, yeah, Tony Noble, so. so. All right. Well, yeah, on the website, website. And then who is 19? Who is 19? I have it as a debit as a rebound. It's not Ryan Waldorf. I don't have Ryan Waldorf. Waldorf salad. Here we go. Here we go. All right. It's funny, I was going through, going through, through a lot of these guys. These guys. Yeah. And like yeah. I was in Lloyd, like, like, Lloyd like 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Yeah. So you recognize yeah. so many like so many like cats and yeah. 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 Feeling about that. Feeling about that. Now I'm on. Now I'm on. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello.
bring those up. Bring those up. Somebody talk. Somebody talk. Check. Check one. Two. Check one. Two. Check one. Two. From the Peace, Peace Memorial, Memorial Multiplex, Multiplex in Wainwright, Alberta, Canada. My name is Gracie Newbridge. I'll be your play by play announcer for this game. I tell you, I'm here today. This is Tyler Eater after this, this one. This is the opener of this tournament and the feature of the Days Land North Stars and the Hillmont Hill. And this is an ICU video production. We have Pro Cast. We have Dave Foley on camera. Our switcher is Alex Tavich. And the Rob Tidlow is our director. We're very excited. We're very excited after this game. At least entire hockey out here. Yeah, it's going to be a yeah, fantastic weekend, and uh, uh, all these teams are interested to see kind of the journeys, the journeys that they've taken, taken to get here, here, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you were 19-0 like you know what, or, or, or if you were a little bit of a weaker team during the regular season, regular season. this weekend is kind of all that matters, this is all what they kind of play for. And we are underway in game number one of this tournament. Puck is back in the day's land zone. Come on on the floor check here. Puck played ahead, number 39 for Days Land. Days Land is Red Trouble. It's dumped in, dumped in. Keeping it at the line was Jacobson only briefly, and now back to retreat is Harrison French. French French circling, circling back behind his own net. His own net, the pass here, pass here. Missed hit there up the middle, and Hillmont takes over. Takes over. Saw a miss hit right there. I don't think we'll see too many misses, though. These are two teams that like to run out like physicality a little bit. Started goal to go to his land in 29, Andy Sinclair. Sinclair. He stopped it up, and now the Snow Stars go on the attack. Puck played right behind the net there. Net there. Troutman on it and on it. Days land, Days land is chasing this one back. Not going to have enough on it. Icing, icing. North Stars, North Stars try to clear the zone, and they do. They do. Puck at center ice, center ice. Number 41 is Colin Zimmer. Zimmer down into the corner. The corner. Looking back to the point. To the point. Across the now here is Carter. Carter looking for a little slot pass, pass there. It goes into the corner harmlessly. Harmlessly. Ilmon trying to try to pass it. He's a linesman. Linesman. Days land able to take over. Take over. Effort dumps it down deep. Down. I like that look there from Carter. He got looked up. Was going to throw it on that throw it on. We saw he might have had an offside on that backdoor pass. He's a good puck. He's a good defenseman. Ten assists in 11 games during the regular season. Regular season. Bump there by Keith. Heavy up. Heavy up. In neutral zone. In neutral zone. Case line once again. Dumps it in. Dumps it in. Back to the starter tonight for the Hillman. They still have Yanota. Yanota. A 26-year-old from Lloydminster. On the puck now. 
now is Tanner Harrison, playing it across, playing it across. Lane Lightning maybe the name of the tournament, the tournament couldn't quite get that one in, that one in. Brendan Lamb on it for Dave, I'm looking for Lightning in the middle, in the middle, just behind him, behind him. Delmont clears the zone, the zone, and stumped back in by the North Stars and Stars. The hit of time now is now is Stars change, Stars change. Delay penalty here as well, here as well. Interference being called here, called here. That's going to be an interference call going to hell. on to get our first look here at the Days Land Stars and their power play unit. Just a bit of a collision kind of in the neutral zone, and Lamb was just sort of just sort of backing up. Didn't really see where he was going. Looked more like a collision to me, but regardless, Days Land will get a look here on the power play. Power play. Graham Murray going to the penalty box for interference, and the North Stars are on the power play. Power play. See what kind of setup they set up they oh, utilize. Although oh, issue here, the puck is turned over and back over the head and the other way. And the shot is just wide of the net. Matt Nielsen had the rush there. Give away now and back come the North Stars. North Stars. Puck give it away and give it away. And he'll be unable to kind of choke off the days on attack for now. However, back come the North Stars now. They'll try to set it up with it. Gardner looking down low to perfect. Back to the line, keeping this in is Riley Benefield. Benefield. Benefield now for now for Troutman. Troutman. Back for Benefield. Benefield. Troutman shot, shot tipped over the net. Over the net. North Stars are able to collect and keep the puck in. Puck in. Troutman playing it down low for for Troy McLeese. Troutman back on the boards for Benefield. Benefield. Back to Troutman on the half wall. Benefield in, in the middle. Try to risk it from the point. From the puck bounces puck to Gartner. Gartner. Mitchell Gartner. Gartner. Cautious. Cautious. Over to McLeese. Over to Looking McLeese. for a cross ice pass. Ice pass. Bounces down, down low to perfect. Low to perfect. Come on, keeping keep keep Days line to the outside for now. For now. Benefield at the point. Benefield at the point. Thirty seconds 30 left seconds on this power play for Days Land. Days Land. Benefield. Benefield. Gartner, Gartner, back down to Troutman, top, top of the circle, circle. Gartner, Rister, Rister, deflected over the net, collected there by, there by, perfect, perfect. In the slot, McLeese, shot blocked. Good block there by number eight, Brendan Payne, and he will skate it into the day's land zone. Try a little move there, and that'll pretty much do it for this first power play of the tournament. And the day's land North Stars come up empty. Not the best look there. A couple odd man rushes back the other way for Hillman. And there's what a minute there of solid zone time, but no real killer instinct from Daisland. That, not that great a chance you're kind of looking for on a power play. Kudos to the penalty killers for Hillman. They were out there a very long time, but they were able to keep things to the outside for the most part. Now come the North Stars in front, they score! Colin Zimmer, the opening goal of this tournament, and it's 1 nothing for the North Stars. It's a nice little play on the back door, and that's how you make up for maybe a bit of a lackluster power play. You get one right after it, as we're going to get another look at that one. Colin Zimmer, third on the team in scoring this year with 18 points, and a good job just kind of dropping his shoulder, going to the net, and the, one of the oldest sayings in hockey, keep your stick on the ice, and right there, he got rewarded for that one, so there's our first goal of the tournament. Tyler Keller setting that one up, that one up, and it's 1-0 for the North Stars. They're looking to go on the attack once again. Shot just goes wide of the net, wide of the net. Part of the forecheck is Lamb. Lamb trying to win that shot back. Lamb in a good battle here. Well done. Well done to Brendan Lamb for Lamb for winning that puck back down low for Lightning. Try to throw it in front. In front. And they have been bringing it up. Break it up. That one's going to go for a nice thing here. Nice thing here. Off the stick of stick of Penny and all the way down, all the way down. With our first our five on five stop for the game. Onto the game, more officially introduce you to the starting the goaltenders. Anders in net for the net. Hillman Hillman Scott, Scott Yanoda. He's been he's around quite a bit. This is his second season with Hillman. He's a guy who's kind of bounced around a couple different junior leagues in Alberta. And Andy Sinclair is getting the start for days. He's played in parts of four seasons with Hillman. Maybe his best season was back in 16 and 17. He played nine games, nine thirty two goals against Alberta and nine of seven. Save percentage, save percentage. Beaten once already tonight, but he's got a handful, a handful of saves to go with it. Go with it. Face off is to the right there of Yanoda. Back at the point here. Point here. 
Carson French threw it on net. Stop. Rebound. Rebound. Just put wide there. Wide there. And the net is and a little bit loose. Little bit loose. So we'll have to put that one put back. That one back. Good, good first save there by Yanota, but I mean the rebound was just kind of just allowed, allowed to sit allowed in front and then a front and quick flip with the backhand. Back backhand. Tyler Keller, Keller already won it already tonight. Look at that. Look at his team up. He's doing nothing. A good, good bit of recovery there from Yanota. 91 is coming over. That's in front. That's in front. Where's the puck? Where's the puck? Yanota looking for it. He goes off the corner. Come on. Really has it going on for them right, right now. now. Right now. And they give it up. And they here's Zimmer looking for a second. second. And he draws and he it heavily. Heavily. Alfred's still Alfred's with it. Still with it. And he also got he taken also down. Got but taken down. But the initial call the initial is going to go against Hillman against here. And they're going to be shorthanded for the second time. Second time. Number 22. Number 22. That is. That is. Uh, Colton Anderson started going to Hillman. That top line for Days Land. That top line for Days Land. Matt Foster calls Zimmer and Zimmer. Scott Everett. They've been putting in a lot of work thus far already today. Scoring a goal and now drawing a power play here. So Days Land will get a great opportunity to extend their lead early on. It's the same unit that was on the ice for most of that first power play here. Play here. Benfield back at the point. Kind of running things. Struggling now. Dropping back to Benfield. Benfield lines up and shoots up. Just wide, rebound, 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 front, up, and front, and the hill might hit there, able to clear it down the ice, down the ice. Rocket of a shot, rocket of a better field, and a field. That's a guy who's going to be relied on, be relied on, and it's not back, man. He's actually, he's actually, he's actually, he's leading scorer in the regular season. Scores, the regular season. <laughs> on the rush here, and Trout, 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 making some moves in the offensive zone, and sets up on the half wall, and they go to the field, stopped by Yanoda, Yanoda. Troutman again, down low now, down low now. Looking for Gartner at the point. At the point. Back, to Back to Trogan. Down low. Down low. Looking for a little play a little into the play. slot. Maybe a chance maybe now a chance for Hillman. He'll break, break the other way. The other way. Number 26 Number is Jesse Scansfield. Scansfield. Racing in. Racing in. Good cut down there by Gartner. Not give him anything, anything to shoot at. Shoot shoot little backhanders easily saved by Sinclair. By Sinclair. It's probably with the third automatic or the shorthanded rush, I should say. That we've seen now Hillman. They have Hillman. They have Link 5 on 5. Too much. Too much. Back to the decent job. Still a very decent job. Okay, low, but they're shorthanded. They're shorthanded. Battle down Battle there, down there. Who's going to come up with it? It's back to the point, to the point. On the half wall the here, half wall is, here Elfert. is Elfert. Down low, down low. For Keller, for Keller. In Elfert, in Elfert, places. Three places. For Zimmer, for Zimmer. 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 Close the five hole and five out and step down. Step down. Erickson keeps it in. Keeps it in. Now here's Elfer again. Here's Elfer again. Looking for the pace there from the captain. The captain. Wide rebound. Wide rebound. Wide rebound. He's loose. How oh, did that not go in? Go in. Should have been a gift there, there for, for Zimmer, but he didn't find his step of the night. Four or five guys kind of lost with that lock was on the ice, and then he just kind of skipped on his stick and went right through the crease. The crease. Close call. Close call. Elfer with it again. with it again. Looks for Erickson at the point of the puck bounce. Puck bounce. Off the board too far and far. And giving chase here is here is. Colton Anderson as he came out of the penalty box, that penalty box, that days left power by now, only now two for two, but they still lead, they still lead game one nothing, one nothing. Comes all the way down, no ice, no ice, collected by Hillman, Hillman. Kyle Tenney has it right now, right now. Gets to the red line, and dumps it in softly, softly. Collected back there by Josh Hunt, Josh Hunt, played up the wall to Lamb, to Lamb. That one's turned over, turned over. Back to Hunt, back to Hunt. Come on, can't Come on. Seem, to, seem to break down the days line, days line. Neutral zone, neutral zone, zone in there, shorthanded, it seems like, it seems like. More pressure More from the North Stars, North here. Stars here. Chopping at that one was, that one was Renier, Renier, but kept in. Now they'll try the other side with Tenny, with Tenny. Bumped there by Bumped. Hunter, by Hunt. A little bit of maybe, bit of maybe unexpected, unexpected adversity here early, early in the early tournament, in the tournament for him on there. You know, there. Stumble there. Stumble there. Chance for days on to come in. It was in. It was Troutman again. Troutman again. Gartner at the point. Gartner at the point. He shoots. He shoots. 
kicked aside by Yenoda. Get out of play. Get out of play. Another save for Yenoda. He's going to be busy. He's going to be busy. To be busy this tournament. That's one thing I'll be interested to see as the tournament goes on. We get another look at that chance there. On the side of the net by Miller. Miller again. It just kind of seems like it's sort of a hot job on it. Or Zimmer. A hot job on it. A little bit at the last second. And I think he was surprised. He was surprised. The puck found its way to his stick on that. Hitman comes streaking up, streaking up for 27, 27 for the Hitman. The Hitman. Puck once again back by the Hitman, then collected by Michael McKay. McKay. Now here's, now here's to McDonough, to McDonough. Through the legs, he gets around, he gets around, and now behind the net, McDonough, McDonough. Throw up in front, here's a chance, a shot high there. High there. By number 27, Jamie Sparks and Marks. It's not a name we've heard a lot of yet, Tyler, but it is one that Kilmon certainly would like to hear a lot more of. Yeah, Jamie Sparks, and I think part of it again is just the fact that they've already had to kill four minutes for more the penalties. He's a guy, he's their lead, he's scorer over two or over three games per game throughout through a regular season. Another guy, another guy who's paired up with paired up Lenny Young, Lenny Young, AJ Young, bounce around, bounce around a few teams, but he's over two points per game as well as the regular season. Those two guys are two guys who look to just look to this Hillman offense. offense. Face up one by the Norton Pirates, and they will and they will way into the neutral zone. Neutral zone. No ice there, no ice there. You know he plays it. He's just going to hold on here. Hold on here. 24 to go for the goal. In the opening frame. First period's going by 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 that big line again, that line again, that line again, that line with Keller, Keller, Elf, Zimmer, Zimmer. However, it's going to be Hillman breaking out here, breaking out here. So three on two, three on two, maybe, but maybe, but well played there by, there by Carson French, and French. Puck poked into the corner, and it's going to be here with J.D. and Jacobson. Looking that up, looking that up, a little bit of pressure. Jumps into the corner, we're in the corner, we're French, we're going to use the ball for the long ball. Alfred can't hold it out, well, get out in there, well, in there by Anderson, 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 Chandler, easily, easily captured by Andy Sinclair, Andy Sinclair. Save of the game for Andy Sinclair, a couple of rushes, a couple of rushes, gone in on it, gone in on it, haven't they, haven't they, exactly, resulted in a shot on goal, he's standing tall against right there, face off, come over to his right hand side, 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 Murray won it, Murray won it, tried to go forward, they can down there by down there by Holtos, Kariva, Kariva. I was kept in with the line, by 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 by line, 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 by Slowly creeping down, creeping down, down to the worst period, the first period, the first period, the the big moment, big moment, always got to have those first, first two minutes, first two minutes, and the last guy, 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 the McClellan carrying and carrying and for long, 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 for Nice reaction, nice reaction, reaction. Save, save between the pipes, between the pipes, but also some really nice hair, really nice hair, nice way hair, way hill. Going to the net, going to the net, and you're not always, you're not always going to get it, but if you're on the right spot, you're never going to bounce off, you're going to bounce off, you're right there. Gave the, gave the, wave of the stick and almost deflected it to the back of the net. He was behind he was the net behind here, the net here, and to start the break, start the break yard, however, he's lined, he's lined, he's in the neutral zone. Now here comes the hit, hit, 
there's a shot, there's a shot off the leg, on wide, and wide from number 29, number 29, Nielsen. 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 Little poke there, poke there from Maytana, Maytana. Battling, battling against the boards here. Maytana, here, 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 Maytana,
Keep it out. Kenny down. Kenny down. Break that one out. Kenny tried to keep that one in at the line. Didn't do it. Couldn't do it. Do it. Back comes Tyler, Tyler Keller. Tyler Keller. Little move here by Zimmer. By Zimmer. Throws it in front. Throws it in front. Broken up by McKay. Lucky for a stretch pass there. Pass Sparks. Sparks. Couldn't find him. Find him. Keller. Keller. It's tied up along tied the up along wall there by McDonough. McDonough. Bump there. Bump there. Puck comes loose to Renier. To Renier. Renier, Renier, through neutral ice, neutral ice. He takes a shot, takes a shot, blocker it away, blocker it away. Rebounds there, Rebounds though. There, though. Where's the puck? Where's the puck? And it's finally, yeah, finally gobbled up there. Up there. Up there. Number two, uh, uh, the goalkeeper uh, for days four, number twenty nine. That is, that is Sinclair. Sinclair. Bobbled it a little bit there. It's a shame that shame that Hillman was kind of going on a bit of a line change there because it was there because it was a one man show with Renier driving in and getting a couple. Of his own rebounds, if they would have had five guys in the offensive zone, might have been a little bit of a different story there, but another really good look at an end to end rush for Renier. for Renier. Stepping into that one, that one was number five, Sean Newman for Hillman. Couldn't get that one on target, though. Target, though. Days line, days line. Taking their time under the three to go here in the opening period. Still 2 0 over the North Stars on Stars on goals from Zimmer and after and after. Lightning, lightning. Flicks that one Flicks high, that one high. Yonoda, Yonoda. Couldn't quite feel that one, feel that one. It's in front there, in front there. The side of the net, side of the net. Perfect, perfect. Back down low, Back looking down to get low. that one in front. Was, front was Lamb, it's fired up by Yonoda, Yonoda. Don't know if that one's necessarily going to go down as a save, as a save but save, you know what it does have a ton of them already here. One thing I'm going to be interested in being kind of observing as the tournament goes on is how these teams are going to handle the goal tending. I mean, I mean, you have a long, you have a long round robin here. You have to play three games over this over this stretch in a couple of days. And days, you know, if you're a team, you're when you win your first game, you want to go ahead one of the floor, keep your number one in there, one in there. Because that touch is whistled wide, but you want to keep the number one guy in there, you rest them up. I mean, see how these coaches handle it. A lot of these goalkeepers do. They don't play every game regularly, so so they're used to the balance schedule. So we'll see if that is a factor here. Factor here. And the other thing too, I think, too, not playing every day during the regular season. It's not like when they were in junior A or major A or junior or anything like that, where you're used to playing every second day. The body and how body wear down if you're down. All of a sudden, they play games like four days. Giveaway here, here. Unfortunately, unfortunately for Gervais, he could not find the handle and back on and back on the North Star. North Star stick check there by there by Hunter Maytonic. We play back ahead now for Gervais. He shoots, he shoots right into the red basket. Bounces in clear. He hangs on, hangs on. Yeah, that one caught up a little bit high too. You saw him there just on there, kind of dropping down from his mask. It almost looks like it almost looks like stings him a little bit the way he drops down and then down and then kind of moves his chin and that's it. He wins the puck. when the ball is out. Maybe not the spot he wanted to catch that one in, but. Regardless, uh, regardless, uh, every goalie every will take a bit of a stinger over, over a goal again. Goal again. You see some goalies where that goalies where plastic net protector and he doesn't have one, one in it. Like it like it got, like it got underneath of the underneath of the mask a little mask bit, a little bit, but no harm done. No it, harm seems. Done, it seems. It seems. Maydonic, Maydonic, trying to start a run here. Go right forward, toss to the rebound, the rebound. Now Wayhill, Wayhill, the backhander behind the net, behind the net. Effort, effort. King into the middle there, gathered the by, gathered by Michael McKay. Michael McKay, Maydonic, Maydonic, going cross ice with that one, with that one. Will be able to really move it as we enter the final minute here, final minute here of the opening of the frame. Opening frame. Trying to cut inside there, Sparks, Sparks couldn't get there and get there. And Keller comes the other way, playing it long, looking for Lamb. He's gonna have hustle, but hustle, but not gonna get there. That is icing. That is icing. One of those little breaks in a game, you kind of get to notice as a play like that, or like that. An icing call, that he just missed the center line and down line with 45 seconds left. Hill on that, Hill on offensive zone, face off, face off. Nine times out of ten, there's only ten minutes for someone to win the face off, the play go back the other way. But the other way, there's always, there's always a few moments in a game where that little break goes the team's way, way. Find a way to capitalize on it and get really change. The outcome, the outcome something as small as that icing is that icing. And of course, the more likely the outcome here is that they just clear up the news, clear up the nothing happens. Nothing happens. Day's line was able to get a rush of their own off of that, off of that, but unable to do so. Trouble in the back end again, and again. Hustling back for this one is Brew Man. Brew Man. A little bump from Perfect. From Perfect. One's flicked out, flicked out. Jacobson, Jacobson. Body in there, body in there with Stansfield. Stansfield looking in front of there for Sparks. Sparks shoots. Picked up by Sinclair. Sinclair. Gathered by Jacobson. He 
isolated for a lamb or a lamb to sit deep. To deep. Ten seconds to go. To go. Will we see any more rushing? Sure. Will Hillman just, Hillman just eat the clock out here? And I think that's exactly what they're going to do. What they're going to do. Last thing you want to do is spring up that last kind of pass of the period, have it tipped off, and end up in the back of your own net. But a 2 nothing first period is where we'll stay. Where we'll stay. Dayland North Star is up 2 nothing. They also lead on the shot. He lost 12 on 6. Tyler, what did you make of the effort of both these teams here in that over? I think there was definitely a little bit of a feeling out period. I think as the tournament goes on, we'll kind of see these two sides. I think all teams in the tournament, as you get to the second, third, and then the medal round game, you'll see the speed pick up a little. You'll see the intensity pick up a little bit. I mean, a bit. you I can tell just from being here, here, it's a Thursday at 2.30, it's not like your building's, building's full, I expect that, that as the weekend kind of goes on, more people, people in the crowd, the energy will pick up a little bit, and even in this game, as we get into the second and the third period, I really think the sense of urgency will kind of tighten a little bit as we keep going, as we keep going. And that's going to do it for the first period, we'll take a break, we'll be back with action from period number two at the Senior AA, Dr. Alberta Provincial. Meet Wainwright, a place of possibilities where the meaning of life lies in the details. Small fences when you need to borrow something from the neighbor. Hey, good morning, Michelle. Hi, Sonia. Where everyone knows your name. And there's no rest for the active in Wainwright. Ah! Ah! Park! Did you say that? The way we roll might surprise you. They're tough as nails, family fierce, enduring, freedom on hooves. They are a symbol of us. Oh, and we've learned you never try to milk a buffalo. Ah! Yep, dog runs away for three days kind of big. Good luck finding a corner when you leave town. We stand on guard for love of country. place where saying hello is mandatory, a handshake is your word, and looking each other in the eye means something. The steering wheel hand wave. When we wave, unlike the big city, we use all our fingers. Early morning road warrior, urban style, and yeah, we have everything that you need. We're one big family. You might say we save each other's bacon when things get tough. The dirt on Wainwright? Life is grounded in what really matters, an honest day's work, service to community and country. You see, life is what we make of it, whether it's agricultural processing, oil and gas services, or heavy metal. We believe less is actually more, because we're one of the most affordable and cost-friendly communities in Alberta. Meet Mr. Wayne Wright. Big as imagination in a family first town. Okay, see you in two. I'll see you in two. Yeah, I'll be there in a couple. To work, to the arena, to the event. Everywhere in two minutes. This is our second nature, soul full. Make Wainwright your home, roam to your heart's content.
I still know a place where simple pleasures are so beautiful, where big skies and endless spaces inspire, where freedom still feels real. This place is where rural Alberta pride rises and shines with the fist of will and where there's heart in the fight to overcome what might stand in our way. I still know a place where every minute feels alive, like we're staring into the soul of things where connection to land and place and people gives life meaning and has us feeling like we belong, where we appreciate the faces of possibilities, the makers, growers and tinkerers, crafters and imagineers, those who have the infectiousness of belief. This place is Wainwright. Life is what you make of it. Make it here.
And welcome back to the Peace Memorial Multiplex here in Wainwright, Alberta. It's the Days Land North Stars leading the Hillmont Hitman 2 0 after 20 minutes of play. Grayson Knutson here with Tyler Uremchuk and uh, Tyler, Daysland may be up to nothing, but it looks like they're going to start the second period shorthanded. Yeah, and here's a big chance for Helmond to get themselves back into this game. The one thing I kind of took from the first period was for Daysland, their best players were their best players. We talked about how effective that top line was, not only in getting some goals, but also in drawing a penalty, establishing some zone time, putting some real pressure onto Helmond. Helmond's best players didn't exactly do that. Sparks and Young weren't exactly in the play too much and now with a power play they're gonna have a chance to do so and here's a look at some of those chances from the first period many of them at the uh, Hillmont end of the rink as Daysland had the advantage on the shot clock 12 to 6 yeah and you're gonna see a lot of Scott Yanota in this highlight package but deservedly so he was solid making 10 saves in the first on the flip side of that Andy Sinclair he was good in his own right as well he stopped all six shots that he faced a couple of tough ones as well and that was one right there it just kind of hopped over the stick of Colin Zimmer he almost had two in that period if he would have gotten a bit of a bounce and speaking of the goalies out was probably Scott you know his best save of the period yeah Lane Lightning with a little tip there late and then here's the opener from Colin Zimmer nice setup by Tyler Keller that made it one nothing for the Daysland North Stars fairly early on and then here, Riley Benefield, that nice move at the line, the defenseman activating up into the rush. And then, like you pointed out at first, that toe drag to not only move the defenseman over a little bit, but get the goalie down early and then forces a rebound out of it. And effort was right there to bang home the rebound. We'll see if Hillmon can bounce back here in period number two. We mentioned it earlier, but 19-0-0-0 uh, in the regular season. Yeah. They were perfect. Then they got through two hills in the quarterfinals of the Saskatchewan to lead league, sorry, and then they defeated Meadow Lake in the semifinals 4-2. They did lose to St. Wahlberg, the Eagles, in the Saskatchewan to final. But uh, because St. Wahlberg is a team from Saskatchewan, Hillmont is as well, just about half an hour inside the border, just uh, east of Lloyd Minster, but St. Wahlberg decides to play Provincials in the SHA and, and Hillmont sticks with uh, Hockey Alberta. Interesting to see all those little little rule quirks and things like that can, that can change how teams qualify for different things. The tournaments are completely different as well. This is a one weekend mm -hmm. thing here in Alberta and Saskatchewan actually does like a, a bracket setup where you play a best of three mm -hmm. at the senior level and you kind of move your way on. Uh, actually, St. Wahlberg lost to Hafford in the North semifinal and they're going to play game two at Gull Lake down south on March 30th. And the Hafford Hawks are up 1-0 in that series. We're back underway here on the Alberta side of things. It's the first game of the senior double-A provincials from Wainwright. Hillman looking to do something here with an early power play, fresh sheet of ice as well. McKay at the point. Looking here for Gervais, back to McKay. Little passing play here, broken up. Puck in front, bounces wide. McLeese now. He's tied up by Gervais, who's all over the place right now. Jamie Sparks is there. Now Gervais will go back to McKay. Gervais, a little bit of room. Cross ice for Maydonic. Back in the corner, Maydonic looking to tee it up. Decides to just pass it off instead. Little change there with Sparks. Maydonic now. About a minute left here in this power play. Shot from McKay, tipped wide, bouncing out the other side. And McLeese is going to get it out on the second chance. A couple of good cracks right there. I like the sense of urgency to throw pucks on net. I mean, why not? You've only put six so far. Gervais dumps it in, and second unit here for Hillmon is out there. Everybody's tied up battling along the boards right now. That puck bounces harmlessly across the crease. Gervais still out there. Double shifting here on the power play. Digging down low is Lenny Young. Young throws it on net. Bounces wide. Gervais hooks it around back to the point. That one's going to go all the way down. Cleared by... Number 12, Tanner Erickson for Daysland. That should all but do it for the opening hill on power play. A couple of good looks, and like I said, I like the fact that they, they weren't afraid to shoot the puck. You've only thrown six shots so far onto Sinclair, and 
I mean, they're not going to get credit for any, but they were directing a lot towards the net. They got them moving a little bit. I think that's what you need to do, wear them down a little bit. It's early in the tournament. I mean, you never know exactly how sharp your opposing netminder is going to be. Throw pucks on you, even though one's going to hit a skate or anything like that. Kind of make your own bounces, to say. A couple close tips as well. Now the big line for Daysland comes out. And Keller won that face off, and he's going to chase this one in the corner behind the net. Tyler Keller hooks it out in front. And Elf or Effort just couldn't hit the target. Josh Dudding plays that one up. Trying to get around there was Renier. Keller hounded along the boards there by Tenney. And it's back with the Stars here. Keller trying to tip it around his man. Picked up by Dean Pettiot. Assistant captain for Daysland fires. That's wide to the target. Bounces all the way around though for Effort, who puts it down low for Keller. Looking in front for Effort, that's broken up. Costa Riva back for Hillman. Renier trying to tip it deep, but French is there. Lightning trying to steal that one, and here come the Hitmen. There's a shot stopped there by Sinclair. Rebound is available. That was Lenny Young coming off the bench and getting an opportunity. McKay in front, just wide of the net. Jacobson leaves it there for Perpic, and Lightning has it now. Lane Lightning for Lamb. Dumps it in on Yonoda. Ooh, weird bounce there on Yonoda. Puck is still loose, and Scott Yonoda benefits from an early yeah. whistle there. Did he ever benefit from an early whistle there? It just seemed like it hit maybe a rut or something, or just kind of went up on his stick a little bit odd. I mean, he didn't have possession of that at all, so the referee definitely bailed him out a little bit right there regardless. I mean, a bullet dodged is, is an irrelevant bullet, really, right? A little bit of ice maintenance done, and now we're ready to go. Troutman was tied up there on that draw by Sparks and the Hitman control. Sparks in the middle, Jamie Sparks. Trying to get it across there, broken up by Troutman who come with a nice back check. Benefield. Wires one, scores! <laughs> what a shot by Riley Benefield and it's 3-0 for Daysland. Not gonna lie, just watch the way he kind of winds up for this shot. He's just very nonchalant, and then it's just an absolute bullet. Like <laughs> that that beats him straight clean. It beats you know to right over the shoulder. But even I wasn't expecting that to be as hard as it was. He was just kind of on one leg, a nonchalant wind up. Didn't look like he got too much ice behind the puck either, but it just fired off his stick, and that shot gives them a three-nothing lead. Didn't look like it hit a stick either. It looked like it just, yeah, like you said, went in clean. Riley yeah. Benefield uh, spent a little bit of time very briefly with both the Lethbridge Hurricanes and Portland Winterhawks in the WHL. So plenty of experience for Benefield, the leading scorer for Daysland, and he's got his team up 3-0. Hillman need an answer now. However, it's Tyler Keller ahead for... McLeese, back to Keller, shoots, stopped by Yonoda. Gervais, trying to get around effort there. Won that, I think, with sheer strength. However, effort is going to chase this one into the corner. Trying to track down Newman, who plays it back. Puck bounces off the official, but Daysline recovers center ice. Dudley throws it. Across the ice. That's off the skate of Payne. Gartner on him. Payne looking for help. Plays it back here for Wayhill. That's off a pad. Wayhill still chasing. Taken down there by Keller. Puck down low. Gartner back to get it. Little bump, but he gets it out. And that one's going to go all the way for icing. Get another look here at that Riley Benefield goal. Again, just a nice job. He picks up that pass. A really nice play through the neutral zone to make that pass. And again, like it, it, it does just go straight in. I think Yonoda may have gotten a little bit of a piece of it, 
but regardless, it finds the back of the net. That's an absolute backbreaker as well from the perspective that, I mean, it was 2 nothing. you're within reach. And now when it's 3 nothing, the clock, even though it's only the second period, it almost starts to become your enemy. You start to get a little worried. Okay, we need at least one before the end of the second. You've got to start taking some risks in your game. That shot's blocked, and maybe a chance now for Lane Lightning. In on a break, Lane Lightning! Stopped by Yanoda. Perfect. That shot's blocked in front as Dazeline continues to pour on the pressure. Lightning trying to bump his man off. That one's kept in at the line. Back down for Lamb. Dutting on it. Plays it ahead for Costa Riva. Now with Wayhill, that shot is right into the glove and driving the net there was Costa Riva and we got it some mix up and some getting to know each other here <laughs> in the crease. And, and I think that's the first time tonight we've really seen anything like that. We've seen the refs give out a roughing penalty. Seems like they're really trying to curb this kind of stuff. We'll see if anyone ends up going to the box. Doesn't look like it. Like it. They'll just let them skate away and separate for now. But I expect a little bit more again as the intensity kind of ramps up as the tournament goes on to Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I expect the post-whistle shenanigans will ensue as well. These two teams don't play in the same league, so there's not a lot of carryover animosity. Daysland in the North Central League and Hillmon in the Saskalta League. But I'm sure, like you mentioned, if they were to meet again, things would be a little bit different. Benefield gave that one away. That one's just thrown down low and tipped wide there. Off the stick of Tanner Erickson for Daysland, and now the North Stars break out. Troutman looking for Benefield, who really jumps into the play. Out of his net there was the goaltender, Yanoda, and he did enough to push it away. McKay getting bumped there, but he gets the puck out. Renier, little toe drag shoots. That's off the helmet of Sinclair. So Sinclair has had one off the helmet here, and here's Benefield breaking in. Benefield scores! What a snipe from Riley Benefield, and it's 4 nothing stars. Think Benefield has a book on Yanoda or what? Second time he comes in and the whole time he is looking absolutely nowhere but high glove and not a chance for Yanoda. Benefield with just an absolute rocket. Daysland's leading scorer has a pair now in the first seven minutes of the second period. We talked about your best players having to be your best players and Daysland is certainly getting that right now. So it's 4 nothing. 13 minutes to play still in the Daysland second period. Benefield has two on the night now. Sinclair has it, just plays it away. Comes back to him, he's gonna have to jump on this one and he does. Can they get another look at that one here? As again, just a long stretch rest. And that came off a of Hillmon chance as well. Just one of those moments where the play flips around quickly and Benefield's one of those guys, if you don't have your eyes on him, at all times moving up the ice, he can burn you in a split second, and he did exactly that. So Benefield from McLeeson, Erickson the goal here. 4 nothing North Stars, and they have the big line on looking for more. Three on two. Here comes Zimmer, delay penalty coming up as well. No whistle yet. And then it's just touched up by Mann, and Daysland will... Look to keep pouring it on here as they'll go to the power play for the third time. Yeah, and the one thing you got to remember for both sides actually is that in this tournament format, goals against, goals for, that kind of stuff matters. You never know when you're going to be two and one and another team's going to be two and one and it's going to come down to who has the better plus minus, who's better head to head, stuff like that. So every period, no matter what the score is, I mean, you still got to be pushing for more goals. This day's line power play. They had one good look on the power play, one where I wasn't quite in love with it, but right here, their third attempt to look to get their first power play goal. Keller looking for a stretch pass here for Zimmer. Gloves it forward to himself. Zimmer looking to set things up here. Gets a little help from Erickson, but he loses out. Back the other way. Just another long shot from Hillmon. They haven't really been able to generate much in the last little while. Effort ahead for Jacobson, all the way across for Lamb. Lamb streaking in, shot stopped by Yanoda. Rebound off the crossbar. I think it just bounced off of Lamb and just off the crossbar. 
Neither he nor the keeper knew much about it. Lamb. Just on the ice now is Perpic. Dumps it down low for Lamb behind the net. About a minute left here on this power play. Gartner shot, tipped in front wide of the goal. Lamb. Now up to the half wall. Brendan Lamb looking to set something up here. Perpic at the point. Wrist shot blocked in front. Puck is loose and Yanota jumps on it. That shot in front, I think that got a piece of Dusty McClellan and it seemed to have stung him a little bit. And there's that save and, and I, I'm not even sure. It, it went off a stick because it definitely picked up speed on the rebound attempt. It just looked like someone got a whack at it out of the air and luckily for Hillmont to hit the crossbar so no harm done. But I mean, when the bounces go your way, it's almost like a snowball rolling downhill, right? It seems like everything seems to be going the way of Daysland here. 35 seconds left on the young penalty. Day's line looking in front. Nice setup for Gartner, but he just fanned on the attempt. Hitman can't clear the zone yet. They will now, though, as McKay skates it out. Michael McKay fires. That's blocked. Buck still in. Just gathered up by Wayhill, and he'll look now for Sparks. Sparks out there shorthanded, so Hillman looking to just get some offense going from somewhere. Troutman cuts inside. Troutman still with it. Through the leg, still Troutman. Finally had it poked off his stick there by Renier. And, sorry, that was Nielsen. Now the puck is ahead. To the aforementioned Renier. Looking in front there. Here's a chance. Stopped by Sinclair. He, didn't, he wasn't sure where it was, but it was between his pads, and he covers up. Definitely best look of the game right there as we get a quick look at it. And yeah, Sinclair got a piece of it with the glove, knocked it in between his own legs. And then as a smart goalie would, he just kind of stayed in his spot, waited for the whistle to go. He eventually got it, but definitely the best save of the night so far for Sinclair as he's forced to stop a bit of a partial break. Lenny Young with a decent look coming out of the penalty box for the Hitman. We mentioned Young during the break. That's one of those guys who's really going to need to get going here. Helmond wants to put together a bit of a comeback. Starts with one, and the Hitman will look to get it here. Although it might be an odd man rush the other way, and here come the Stars. Keller, Zimmer, oh, it just went off his stick. Had a lot of net to shoot there, did Zimmer, but couldn't find the handle. That top line continuing to produce. Zimmer in front, stopped, rebound. Diving back, there was the goalkeeper, and he does enough to keep it out, Yanota. Come on, taking some time to settle down. This top line for Daysland is awfully dangerous. Payne needs some help of his own and just flips it down low and it's picked off by Pettiot. Looking for lightning. Yanota stops it. Sides to backhand it, looking for Newman. Kicked it out neatly here for Young. Lenny Young with speed. Takes a shot. Easily sticked aside there by Sinclair. Nobody took it there for Hillmond, and Daysland almost got away with that one. Pettiot, big body on the back end for the Stars. Here's Lightning. Lost it in his skates, but found it. Takes a little bump there, puts it down low. Puck is in front. No, it bounced back. Too perfect. Lamb. It's stolen from him and back the other way comes Stansfield. Stansfield kind of put himself in a tough angle there, didn't get a good shot off. Still fighting for it though, Young has it. Back to the point. Top of the circle shot, glove saved by Sinclair. He was trying to use his speed to kind of go wide there, but a good job to push him off. And right there, a couple of great chances for Zimmer. I mean. Two looks on that shift alone. If you consider the one that bounced over his stick in the first period, and he already has the game's first goal. If the bounces went his way, he could have three already today. Face off to the right of Sinclair, and it's won by the Hitman. Shot from the point is blocked. Here comes McLeese the other way. It's got Benefield with him. 
the trailers Troutman. It's for Benefield, though. His shot is off a stick. Still in play. McKay. Up ahead here. For number 23. That's Way Hill right into the glove. Easily captured by Sinclair. Give Hillmont some credit. They started to push back a little bit at times. I think the real backbreaker for them because they were putting together some really good shifts to start the period. They had the power play and then they were dominating the zone for a couple of minutes. Then they took that penalty coming back up the ice. And ever since they took that penalty, I mean, Daysland has really been able to take right back over this hockey game. And that's another thing their offensive zone penalties. They will kill you in more ways than one. Zimmer. And that's an easy penalty call there. Costa Riva hauling down his man, Tyler Keller. And I think we could have made that one from up here. So, <laughs> yeah. It's one of those cases where you're trying to defend so hard and you just kind of lose track of where you're sliding your stick. You put it between an attacking player's legs and that's usually going to be enough to trip them up. Maybe oh. not a bad penalty to take, though. No, especially when you consider the fact, again, it was Zimmer on the shooting part of that two-on-one there. It's one of those where you kind of just got to suck it up and take your man, hope you hit puck first, and if you don't, well, you prevented a grade-A scoring chance. And, I mean, the power play has been 0 for 3 for Days Land, so maybe you haven't proven to be a very deadly unit thus far. Hilmon will ice Two this one. And their stars will set up from their own end. Jacobson flipping that one ahead a little bit too far, and then it's just sent right back by Maidonic. Jacobson again. Goes for effort. Rings it around. Jacobson was there, left it. Lamb collects on the half wall. It's back at the point now, going down low. Taking a look there. That one stopped, popped up really high. High stick is going to be called here against Hillmon, so the faceoff will be still in their own end. Take another look at that save from Yanoda, just down low and popped right in there. Then in there you can see the high stick. I think Dazon would have preferred if that almost didn't get blown dead because they shuffled it back to the point nicely. And it looked like it was close actually on who would have touched that first. Mitchell Gartner with it. Gartner looking for a passing lane. He's got Perpic. Perpic winds up. That's blocked. Good play there defensively by Wayhill, and he got the puck out as well. Wayhill's been good tonight for Hillmon, like you said, on the penalty kill right there, blocking the shot, a good clear. He had a good deflection in front of the net as well, one of their more dangerous chances of the game earlier in the first. About 30 seconds left in this penalty to Hillmon. So once again, Daysland got four goals, but the power play is sputtering a little bit. Benefield maybe will kickstart things here with a rush of his own. Benefield shoots Ooh. a rising shot that just goes high. Good play there to keep it in at the line. And now Benefield walking in, tried to pass that one off to Lightning. Just on the half wall is Troutman. Lightning now, back to the point for Erickson. Shoots, kick save by Yanoda. Benefield picks it up, teams at even strength. Benefield shot. Oh, that one almost snuck oh. through Yanoda. Yanoda had his pad on the ice, but Benefield almost shot it so hard that it slid right under. There's a look at that toe save, and then just from a bad angle, Benefield not afraid to shoot the puck from absolutely anywhere on the ice. He's a guy who recognizes how hard he can shoot it. Then he saw there, Yanoda was in perfect position. He had his pad in the right spot. Shot was just so hard that it just kind of lodged underneath. No chance at a rebound. Brendan Lamb saw it. Benefield shoot and just put his arms <laughs> yeah. up, figuring it was going to go in the back of the net. Erickson now off a face-off win. That one hit Keller in front and bounced wide. Sparks trying to get his team going. He gets knocked down. There's a big hit by Gervais on effort, but it's effort with the puck now. Gets by Dudding. Effort in front, there's Zimmer, didn't get all of that one. Maybe his stick broke as he's dropped it now. Yeah, his stick completely disintegrated in his hands as he wound up for that shot. Dudding pokes it by and deep into the Daysland end. The defenseman trying to forecheck here. 
That one just gets out. Anderson has it. Turns it back the other way, and there's some bumping between Gervais and Petty at two larger gentlemen. And did the ref call one of them? I think he's going to call Gervais for a pick, maybe. One door is open over here, so just waiting to see. And yeah, not sure. And we got a couple looks right there at two of those bigger hits earlier. Each team knocking down an opposition. Doesn't look like. Uh, I don't it, think anyone's going to the box it here. Is, it is going to be oh, Colby Gervais for that little pick he set there as his teammate was stepping across the line and he just tried to give him a little more space. We will see a fifth time's the charm for this Daysland power play. Gartner. I got points Dudley. Gartner looking for a passing lane, and he finds Benefield. It's a good outlet. Troutman, Benefield. Benefield all the way across for Dudley. Back to Benefield. He tried to one-touch pass that one, but McKay is there to pick that one off. That one just got out, just barely. Good effort there by number 26, Brett Dudley, to try to keep that one in. Benefield's got two goals already this period, and what he does possess is that strong shot. We've seen it on display. What interests me here is that he's a left-handed shot, and yet they have him on the left-hand side of their sort of umbrella formation. If I was Daysland, you'd think you'd almost want to flip him around, have him a little bit more open throughout the course of the power play. You maybe don't need to run the play through him. Like, they are kind of using him as that half-wall style quarterback. Put him on the other side. Let him just rip the puck whenever you get it to him. Pettiet hooks it back for Erickson. He shoots, kicked out by Yanota. Just tying that one up is Wayhill. He loses out though. Pettiet, lots of time and space. Fake the shot, gave it off. Pinching in is Erickson. The pass is for him, but maybe broken up a little bit there by Newman. Tip in front, puck is loose, they score! Looks like Lane Lightning down low, stuffed it home, and it's 5-0 in the day's land. North Stars finally strike on the power play. One for five, and I love this play here from Lane Lightning. You're below the goal line, but you're always looking to strike. He's been really good so far today, coming in off the rush, and right there on the side of the net, he just kind of notices that Sonoda's down and out pretty much, and if you can shoot it hard enough off him, it's probably going to bank off and go in. That's exactly what happened, so good piece of vision there from Lane Lightning. I think, uh, yeah, we are going to get a goaltending switch here. So you know what is going to come out, and Warren Stang is going to come in. Stang 7-0 during the regular season, one shutout. Goals against of 214. Maybe a move to try to just spark the Hitman, and also maybe to just save uh, Yanota for a little bit later on in this tournament as well. They got two more games, at least. Hoping it's three as they can <laughs> get into a medal game. A bit of a tough break there. I mean, I don't think there's any of those goals that you look at and go, well, Yanota should have had that one or anything like that, but it's just... I mean, when you're getting this much offense poured on to you, they're, they're going to find their way through. Offside there is Hillman. Get another look at that goal from Lane Lightning. And again, just kind of a scramble finds its way to the half boards. And yeah, he, he recognized as soon as that puck was coming to him that he had a chance to bank it in off of Yanota, ending the night for number 31. So it's Lightning from Lamb and Perpik, the power play marker here for Daysland. We're up 5-0, 23 15. Shots on goal in favor of the North Stars as well. McKay. Little bump there, threw it in front. Gartner's there. Gervais bumps him, but Gartner able to just move that one up and flicked ahead. Troutman actually hit him in the back of the helmet. He played up for Benefield. Got McLeese in front. Puck open, they score. Troutman just tips it in. A rough welcome for Warren Stang, and it's six zip 
for the North Stars. Yeah, not exactly what you want to see in your first kind of couple of seconds in the game is Riley Benefield coming down the wing on you. This time Benefield passes it across and actually right in the middle of the ice there, I'm not sure who was, but they made a real nice play just kind of knocking the puck back through their legs to keep it alive and then a really good job. I believe Trotman got the final whack on that one to just kind of follow the play to the net, not be a passenger and the loose puck hopped up onto his stick. Here's Dudley playing it ahead. And here comes Troutman. Troutman in alone. He scores. What a move. Troutman. Two goals in quick succession, and it's 7 0 for Daysland. Here it is again. And the old poke check didn't quite work that time for Warren Stang as Troutman read it like a book and just went the other way. Yeah, the patience by Troutman. I think that's kind of what he was looking for, just coming in. He slowed up. He, he had the good speed to get the breakaway. Then he kind of slowed up and just wasn't really moving much. And as soon as the goalie makes his first move, that's when Troutman jumped all over it. Great pass, too, by Rhett Dudley to get it to him. Mitch Gartner gets the second assist. This thing is getting out of hand quickly here. And almost busting in there was Lamb. He was just a step offside, though. Under two to play here in period number two. And here's another look at the goal from Troutman. So he just kind of hesitates right there. And as soon as a poke check came out, he knew he was going to flip it hard to the blocker's side. So good execution there by Troutman, avoiding the stick of Stang. Neutral zone faceoff here, controlled by the North Stars. Hitman with the puck now. This one is not going to go for icing. And Wayhill hard on the four check. It's played forward here for effort, all the way across for Zimmer. Zimmer rims that one around. Picked up by Maidonic. He's in a battle there with effort. Buck played forward here for Murray. Sinclair just steers that one aside for Erickson, who goes back behind his net for Pettiot. McKay back up the boards. Erickson picks it up for the Stars and just throws it back into the Hillmon end as we Approach 60 seconds left in this second period. 7-0 stars. Here's another chance. McLeese coming in. Almost was able to stuff that one home. Still McLeese with it. Flipped it off there for French. It's back behind the net. Collected by Maidonic. This one all the way across here. Maybe uh, another rush here for Hillmon with Gervais. Looking to go down low for Sparks. Under 30 to play. Benefield. He's got Troutman with him. Troutman stopped by Stang with the glove. Uh, that'll help Stang a little bit. You get beat twice a little, a little early on when you come into the game in relief like he has, and maybe your confidence is hurting a little bit right there, but Troutman has scored twice on him, and right there Stang gets... A little bit of revenge coming out to the top of his crease and flashing the glove end. You see a nice look of him there, <laughs> having a nice chuckle with the official. French off the one faceoff. Stang steers that one aside. 10 seconds to go here in the middle stanza. Just played around. Stansfield will hold on to it. Dodge a check and the clock will run out as the Daysland North Stars lead this one seven to nothing on the strength of a five goal second period. Their big players really showed out, that didn't they, Tyler? Yeah, they absolutely did. In the first period, we talked about how the top line was kind of controlling things with Zimmer and Keller and effort and how they drew a penalty. They were in on both the goals. And in this next period, it was just like, all right, who's the next line up? And we saw it. It was Benefield and Trotman who ended up coming through and two goals apiece and one for Lane Lightning on the power play. I'm sure it'll be nice for Daysland to see that their power play could kind of finally get on the board as well. And 
you just kind of blink and it's 7 nothing for Hillmon. I mean, early in that period, they had the power play. We thought, okay, here's a chance for them to get back in the game after the power play. They put together a couple of nice shifts, and then it just all that momentum completely evaporated from them. And, uh, I mean, the scoreboard kind of speaks for itself at this point in the game. If you're Hillmon, what's going on in the dressing room here in between periods? Uh, I mean, you're kind of just trying to calm down and regroup a little bit. I, it's never any fun losing this bad in a hockey game, so I think you're just, you want to take this as almost a hard reset. The focus, it's a little bit of a cliche now in hockey, but just win the third period. Improve your plus minus a little bit, and now if, if you can put together a good 20, then when the puck drops tomorrow and you're back in action, maybe you have a little bit of positive momentum, some building blocks for your next game. Absolutely. We will see what happens in period number three when we come back. You're watching the Hockey Alberta Senior AA Provincials in Wainwright. Meet Wainwright, a place of possibilities where the meaning of life lies in the details. Small fences when you need to borrow something from the neighbor. Hey, good morning, Michelle. Hi, Sonia. Where everyone knows your name. And there's no rest for the active in Wainwright. Ah! Hawk! Did you say duck? All right, guys, let's roll! The way we roll might surprise you. They're tough as nails, family fierce, enduring. Freedom on hooves, they are a symbol of us. Oh, and we've learned you never try to milk a buffalo. Ah! Yep, dog runs away for three days kind of big. Good luck finding a corner when you leave town. We stand on guard for love of country. place where saying hello is mandatory. A handshake is your word, and looking each other in the eye means something. The steering wheel hand wave. When we wave, unlike the big city, we use all our fingers. Early morning road warrior, urban style. And yeah, we have everything that you need. We're one big family. You might say we save each other's bacon when things get tough. The dirt on Wainwright? Life is grounded in what really matters, an honest day's work, service to community and country. You see, life is what we make of it, whether it's agricultural processing, oil and gas services, or heavy metal. We believe less is actually more, because we're one of the most affordable and cost-friendly communities in Alberta. Meet Mr. Wayne Wright. Big as imagination in a family first town. Okay, see you in two. I'll see you in two. I'll be there in a couple. To work, to the arena, to the event. Everywhere in two minutes. This is our second nature, soul full. Make Rainwright your home, roam to your heart's content.
I still know a place where simple pleasures are so beautiful, where big skies and endless spaces inspire, where freedom still feels real. This place is where rural Alberta pride rises and shines with the fist of will and where there's heart in the fight to overcome what might stand in our way. I still know a place where every minute feels alive, like we're staring into the soul of things where connection to land and place and people gives life meaning and has us feeling like we belong, where we appreciate the faces of possibilities, the makers, growers and tinkerers, crafters and imagineers, those who have the infectiousness of belief. This place is Wainwright. Life is what you make of it. Make it here. Meet Wainwright, a place of possibilities where the meaning of life lies in the details. Small fences when you need to borrow something from the neighbor. Hey, good morning, Michelle. Hi, Sonia. Where everyone knows your name. And there's no rest for the active in Wainwright. Four. Ah! Puck! Did you say duck? we roll might surprise you. They're tough as nails, family fierce, enduring, freedom on hooves. They are a symbol of us. Oh, and we've learned you never try to milk a buffalo. Ah! Yep, dog runs away for three days kind of big. Good luck finding a corner when you leave town. We stand on guard for love of country. place where saying hello is mandatory. A handshake is your word, and looking each other in the eye means something. The steering wheel hand wave. When we wave, unlike the big city, we use all our fingers. Early morning road warrior, urban style. And yeah, we have everything that you need. We're one big family. You might say we save each other's bacon when things get tough. The dirt on Wainwright? Life is grounded in what really matters, an honest day's work, service to community and country. You see, life is what we make of it, whether it's agricultural processing, oil and gas services, or heavy metal. We believe less is actually more, because we're one of the most affordable and cost-friendly communities in Alberta. Meet Mr. Wayne Wright. Big as imagination in a family first town. Okay, see you in two. I'll see you in two. I'll be there in a couple. To work, to the arena, to the event. Everywhere in two minutes. This is our second nature, soul full. Make Rainwright your home. 
Rome to your heart's content. And welcome back to Hockey Alberta Senior AA Provincials here at the Peace Memorial Complex in Wainwright. Grayson Knudsen and Tyler Remchuk here with you. And I see you video productions procast. It's 7 0 for the Days Land North Stars after two periods. They lead the Hillmon Hitman. Kind of one way traffic, Tyler, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it kind of has been to this point. Uh, there's been a couple stretches of about a minute or two minutes where Hillmon's kind of showed a little bit of bite, a little bit of pushback. Uh, we'll be looking for more of that in the third period, though, again. It's a round-robin tournament. It's not like they need to go out and pot eight goals and try to win this one to keep their hopes alive by any means. Just go out, play a solid hockey game, and we'll get some looks here at the second period. But in the third, you, you just want to lay those kind of building blocks and set up a little bit of momentum for your game tomorrow. Sometimes, yeah, you just have to... You don't want to just completely give up on a game, but you almost do have to look like you need to build momentum for the next one. Some... A little bit of rough stuff, not too bad though. Hopefully things don't get out of hand here as it's seven nothing now. As and if it was late in the tournament, that's something that would concern me, but I don't think, I mean, like you also said during the second period, these teams haven't seen each other too much. So I, I don't think that animosity is really built into this game as it would be if these two teams had played each other four or five times during the year. But how about that guy right there? Number five, Riley Benefield, two goals in quick succession. Su both of them high on the glove hand side. He definitely had the book on him. And he is an absolute rocket of a shot. Lane Lightning stuffing that one in. That was the one that made it 5 0. And then Troutman scored twice in quick succession as uh, a new goalkeeper came on for Hillmond. It's Warren Stang in net now, number 39. Well, I think they're actually, uh, they went back to Yenoda. So they, they gave him a little bit of the breather at the end of the second period. That's an interesting, an interesting take on this. I'm, you know, by no means was bad, but he did give up five goals over the first, I mean, 35 minutes of this game around there. But they go back to Yenoda. They gave him the intermission to kind of regroup. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of performance we get here in the third period from number 31, because I have a feeling he'll be busy once again. Third period is underway. Here's Maytonic skating up for Hillmon, chipping it in there, looking for. Number 14, Lenny Young. Here's a chance now for Hillmont. Shot just wide from McKay. A little bit of jump here. Renye dumps it back down. Young looking in front there. That's broken up, and Daysland will break out with Troutman. Madonic takes the pass. He's going to step in. Maybe a three on two here. Madonic. Puck just rolled high on him a little bit, and he. Tried to dump it down low again, but that's blocked by McLeese. He turns it the other way. Benefield leading the rush now. Benefield into the slot just wide. Rebound was there for Troutman. He missed on the backhand. Stansfield. Dances in, drops it for Sparks. He hits his man, but the puck gets out. Keller. Along the wall. Gartner playing it forward. Number 19 is Jeff Lorenz for the Daysland North Stars. Hasn't seen a lot of ice time yet, but he's out there now. Keller leading the rush. Shot. Kicked aside, and that was interesting from the goaltender Yanota, but no harm done. Don't think he was anticipating that kind of a bounce back with that puck, and you can tell he was just focused on making that first save. 
Pressure still on here from Days Land as Keller has it in the corner. Battling with Gervais and with Mann. Erickson gathers in center ice. Back to Pettiot. Erickson ahead for Lightning, just chips it in. Skating back to collect that is McClellan. Dusty McClellan loses it out to Lightning, who threw it in front. It bounces back into the corner, and McClellan's on it once again. Flicks it ahead for Gervais. He and Lightning collide, and Lightning drops to the ice. Erickson back for Pettiot. Anderson bumps there with Pettiot, who wins out once again, getting it back to Erickson. Just some neutral zone play at the moment. Lightning fires that one way wide. Turnover here, Lamb down for Perpic. Perpic using that long reach to keep the puck away, but Dudding has it now. Josh Dudding behind his own net. A little bit of time as the North Stars change. Making his way in now is Tenney. There's Anderson, Tenney. Tenney shoots, shot stopped by Sinclair. Madonic, back to McKay, his shot goes wide. Madonic again, that one doesn't get through. Trying to shield his man, there was Murray, but Daysline gets it out. This one could be icing, and Tyler Hillmon with some nice pressure right now. Yeah, and you saw it right there on the icing. There. They definitely have Daysline on their heels for probably the first time tonight. Here's another look at that chance. Tyler Keller comes in, winds up, and he turned it aside. Yanota, and then I, again, just don't think he expected that quick of a bounce, especially considering he got a good chunk of that shot and had to desperately get that paddle down to make sure the rebound wasn't whacked in. But a really good chance here for Hillmon to keep up some offensive pressure. Everyone's boards are a little different. These ones in Wainwright yeah. seem to be quite bouncy. And I played in some small town rinks where they're just dead. The puck hits it and it yeah. barely gets off the boards. McKay back to Madonic. Wrist shot stopped by Sinclair. Gathering that one up is Wayhill. In front, Dudley goes the other way with it. That one is going to be held in. Well done by Costa Riva, but his stick explodes. So he didn't get a good shot off, and Dayslein's able to collect with McLeese. You're talking about the lively end boards. You see that at the pro level too, like the difference in that. Remember the old Joe Lewis Arena in Detroit was <laughs> notorious. Because yeah. you could almost shoot it off the boards and go back down to the other end of the ice. Keller in tight, rebounds there. Keller was looking for it. Skating ahead here is Young. Lenny Young takes a shot, stopped by Sinclair, rebound gathered by his teammates. Pettiet plays it up now for effort. Keller. Keller tried a little pass there. Good defensive play. Uh, maybe interference, but I don't think with a 7-0 score they're going to call it that tight at the yeah. moment. No, I'd agree with you right there. Both goalies having to be sharp here in the third period. There's a long shot, and just sticking his pad onto it was Andy Sinclair. He's got a shutout going here. 18 saves through about 43 minutes of hockey. And then back at the other end, Yanoda making a quick shoulder save, and then the rebound just skipping down and through the legs of Dudley. Newman plays that one ahead for Mann. Puck battling center ice here, and it's Keller. Keller on the backhand, shot stopped by Yanoda. he covers up. Good patience there from Yanoda as he outweighted Keller. Keller a good drive on the back end and with Yanoda, I mean he gave up those five goals they pulled them and we both kind of said you know maybe give him a bit of a breather they put him back in and you know what this might actually turn out being a pretty good call to put Yanoda back between the pipes it's going to give him a chance here I think to maybe generate a little bit more momentum a little more self-confidence because he's turned aside a few now and he's looked sharper than he has all game. Dudding around the boards trying to get it to his D partner there. Puck is going to be gathered at center ice and flicked back in by Brendan Lamb, 31-year-old Calgary native. Here's Gervais. 
That one almost given away to Lamb, but Sparks did enough to get it to Dudding. Dudding all the way across. Gervais didn't quite get a piece of that. Yes, he did, the Lions people say. McClellan dumps it back in. Sinclair kicks it to number 27, David Jacobson. Perpick dropped it, but it was to a Hitman player, and that's a high hit there, and I think that's going to be a penalty against David Jacobson. Yeah, it just seemed like he had him lined up shoulder to chest, and then when there was a bit of a bounce in the neutral zone, he had to kind of extend his arms at the last second. I mean... Yeah, you can see right there, he just, he didn't line it up good. Um, definitely a penalty, definitely a head contact call. So sitting for two will be the captain, Jacobson. And for Hillmont, it's a chance here again. Like we said, lay down those little bits of foundation. Get your power play going a little bit. Put a little bit of confidence there. You can take positives, even though the final score reads 7-0. You can take positives from the third period. Chance to get some of their big guns going, too. Have been held quiet. Lenny Young out there at the moment. It's going to go across, but it comes out. Man and Newman playing catch. Buck ahead now. Coming around, send in front. Young just tips it back to Man. Here's Man. Over on the side there, her shot goes high and wide. Newman can't keep it in. Got to be careful with McLeese lurking. Young. All the way across there. Big hit. That one's going to be whacked down the ice there. Big hit, number 29, Matt Nielsen. One of the few guys we've seen not afraid to mix it up physically so far in this one. And Daisland now just able to keep the puck back in their end and kill off the remainder of this penalty. Maybe not. There's no more time up on the board, so. Didn't hear an official announcement in the building either, so maybe it was a hit to the head, I believe. Is that a two and a 10? Oh, well, they still got four guys on the ice. I wonder if maybe it's a five. We'll have to get clarification on that. Gervais has it in the neutral zone, flicks it off to Payne with it now. Brandon Payne rings it around. Medonic is gonna collect it. Back to Payne. Payne looking in front. Puck is loose in the crease. Maydonick walking in. The net is off, and you can hear Sinclair hollering at the officials to blow the play dead. Yeah, he was still coming across to try to make that save, but you could see him at the same time kind of waving his arm at the official. You can see him right there. He's waving his arm, trying to signal that the post had come off. It's mooring and slid off. I like, though, that he doesn't just completely give up. He's still sliding across, <laughs> waving his hand because he knows he might have to make a save. Yeah. 12.09 left in this third period. Still 7-0 North Stars. Hitman still on the power play. Shot from McKay is blockered aside by Sinclair and then hammered down the ice by Keller. Maydonick back to pick it up. Speeding through the neutral zone here is Payne. Or sorry, that's Anthony Renier, number nine. That penalty has now expired. They just, maybe there's a mix up with the board. So, another missed opportunity for Hillmon and Keller with a chance. What a save there by Yanoda with the glove coming out quick. A couple more saves here as both goalies continuing to be sharp. Eight and a half minutes. We haven't seen a goal yet. There's one. Right there with the blocker of Andy Sinclair, then right at the end, a quick shot. And Yanoda, he's looking dialed in as ever here. Eight and a half minutes into the period, he's got a couple of sharp glove saves. One where he had to dive back through his crease as well. Chance to sit on the bench, maybe refocus, yeah. get a, an extra breath. And he's back and maybe better than ever at the moment, Scott Yanoda. McClellan just chips it off here for Wayhill, whose shot goes wide. Collected here by Dudding. A little miscommunication. Dudding better hustle here. He decides to just lay off as Keller and Lorenz come in. Lorenz just had his legs taken under him. Unfortunately, Costa Riva was sliding and just kind of took him out. And Lorenz will go to the bench.
Dusty McClellan. Lorenz is going right down the tunnel back into the room as well, so we'll keep an eye on that. Threw it in front. Nobody there. Stansfield takes a shot. That's blocked by Jacobson. Young across. There's a one-timer that I don't know if Sinclair was completely ready, but he shouldered it aside anyway. I don't think he was either. I didn't. I don't think he was expecting a shot from that far out and a shot from that far out to be as high as it was. But regardless, his positioning kind of bailed him out a little bit as he got a piece of it. Big shot from Renier is pushed out. Here's Lane Lightning. Little backhand pass for Lamb. Lamb trying to fight his way through. Lamb shot stopped by the goalkeeper. Lightning still digging for it. And now Bruman skates forward. Dumps it in from center ice and Hillmond will peel off for a change. Fresh legs on, Jamie Sparks leading the four check here. Gets some help from Payne. Hillmond will try to go out the other way with Benefield. McLeese with some speed. McLeese cutting in. There's a little round the world save from <laughs> Yanoda. That's how you know a goalie's dialed in when they're willing to do stuff like that. Oh, I gotta stack the pads, I'll stack the pads, no problem. <laughs> Benefield fires from the boards. That's off the outside of the net. Puck played forward, it was touched there. It is going to be icing though against Hillmon. So 9.02 left and Daysland still up seven nothings, but 0-0 on this period. And there's that incident where Lorenz just yeah. unfortunately just kind of got the worst of that. And, and you aren't really expecting it either. And then here's another save there on a positive note. That stop from Scott Yanoda <laughs> and just completely selling out to keep it out of the net. That's old school right there, I love yeah. it. Keller and Nielsen tied up in the faceoff, and Tillmond, who has the puck at the moment. There's a shot that's blocked by Dudley, who turns back the other way, finds Zimmer. Zimmer, Dudley, dropped it off. Who's going to pick it up? It's with Tenney now, Kyle Tenney, looking ahead for McKay, who's jumped into the play. Michael McKay spins away. Anderson. Puck loose in front, gathered by Effort. Can't get it out, Maydonic, nice hold. McKay on the other side, that one is gonna get out. McKay plays it ahead, Tenney, drops it off, Nielsen, shot, gobbled up by Sinclair. Right into the bread basket right there for Sinclair. A nice play coming into the zone though, a nifty little draw pass he had some time and space, but unfortunately just not a lot of traffic going to the net. So Sinclair, who's a pretty big goalie as well. You look down at the other end and you see Yanoda. He's a little bit more undersized, but Sinclair takes up a lot of space in that net. He's tall, he's got that big gear on. So if he can see it and he's in a decent position, he's gonna stop it nine times out of 10. Lane Lightning rips it from center ice. Goes wide of the target. Newman. Pounded there, but moves the puck well, and Costa Riva all by himself up here. French ties him up along the boards. Good battle between Costa Riva and French. Reinforcements come in now for both sides. French has a bit of a mean streak to him as well. We saw him mixing it up after the whistle earlier, then right there, he's looking at absolutely nothing but Costa Riva's chest and wrapping him up coming in the zone. Man shot, kicked aside. It was Costa Riva too, who he was battling with there when the net came off in the second period. So those two not big fans of one another at the moment. Whale just dumps it softly on Sinclair who decides he better hang on with 7.17 to play. And there you go again, that battle is French just completely as Costa Riva pinned up a couple of whacks down low there. I like that the ref kind of lets them play it out too. No one's really trying to pin it up against the boards too hard here. Let them sort it out themselves. No need for any stoppages in a 7-0 game. There's a battle on the near boards here. Comes out for Stansfield. Also in there is Young, but it's Pettyet who comes away with that. Up for Troutman, McClellan pokes it down deep and Stansfield will bump his man. Puck going out the other way with Erickson. 
And Benefield's up there as well. Erickson has it back. Little dish off for Troutman. Brad Troutman ahead for Benefield. Back to Troutman. Nothing doing. Can't get it through the maze of sticks there. And back the other way go the Hitman. Those two are really clicking then. You can tell that play. How about that hit right there as Tanner Erickson lays out Stansfield. Troutman now. Taking it into the offensive zone. Has a little help from McLeese. Puck still there. Poked away from Benefield the last second. Gervais in his own end. Colby Gervais ahead to Hunter Maydonic. He's in. Back the other way. Benefield. One on one with McKay. Benefield shot. Kicked aside by Yanoda. Benefield gathers his own rebound. Goes across to Gartner. His shot is blocked. Puck still there. Dudley has it. Winds up. And Yanoda hangs on to that one. Yanoda once again. I mean, I feel like we're going to be saving, saying it a few more times here in this period because Riley Bennett, or Yanoda's just been completely locked in, and that's another great example of it. 35 23, the shots now in favor of Daysland. 7 0 the score. That puck's flicked high off the glass and into neutral ice where it's gathered by Sparks, who was looking ahead there for Payne. Payne still with it. Battling Dudley. Now it's ahead for Zimmer. Lorenz is back on the ice, so that's good to see as that shot from Zimmer is deflected into the netting. 5.23 to go here in period number three. It looks like Daysland is well on their way to three points. The system here is three points for a regulation win, two for an overtime or shootout win, one for an overtime or shootout loss, and then of course no points if you fall in the original 60 minutes. That's the way it should be at all levels. The Rewarding the regulation win a little bit more if you can finish off a team in 60 minutes. I think you deserve a little bit of a bump for that. And then, of course, this game's done. We have a quick break. And then at 5.39, Mournville taking on Nanton. Things get a little chippy down low. Nielsen's in there. So is Colton Anderson for Hillmon on the other side, laying lightning. Dean Perpick also involved, and it looks like it is going to be Colton Anderson going to the box and Dean Perpick. Send them both, keep it evened up, but I mean, in a 7 0 game, I. I don't think there's a need for that. The refs don't really need to send any messages either. It's just, all right, there's five minutes left. Both of you guys can sit for two. I, I see the signal here for a pair of roughing penalties is what it'll go down as. It'll stay five on five as well. Maybe a little frustration on the Hillmon side. Hasn't quite gone the way they had hoped here. Understandably so, but they have been much better here in this third period. Specifically their goalies while Scott Yanota, he stood tall. Back to collect that is Brewman. Plays it up for Cole Costariva. Benefield, he's hit there, is still battling behind the play with Wayhill, and now those two are pushing and shoving and stepping in to help out Benefield is number 22, Carson French. I think Benefield's gonna go to the box here. I'm at, he did take the original shot, but I, I think there was a bit of a holding the stick there, and that's what really frustrated Benefield. You could tell that he was trying to move on, but he couldn't quite get his stick out of his opposition's kind of midsection, and then that's what eventually led him to throw a punch and take a penalty. So it's Benefield for a cross check, and it's Wayhill for a rough. So oh, again, go. two apiece, and uh, we'll still stay five on five here with 4.44 to go. McLeese took a shot from the half boards. Didn't get through. Hitman gathering behind their own nets. This one's down into the Daysland end. French is... Still out there, that one got by Mann, and it's collected by Young. Some of the physical stuff starting to, yeah, pick up now. Mann again. Ahead for Stansfield. Looking there for Lenny Young. 
He has it knocked off a stick and Keller dumps it back down to the Hillmond end. I think Lenny Young's gonna get called for a hook here. And he's looking for a little bit more than that. Yeah, not biting at all though is Jeff Lorenz. Oh, Lorenz is actually gonna go to the box as well. So I mean, the rest are just, they're taking two by two. <laughs> if, it, if one guy engages, find someone to take with them, keep it five on five and just keep sending guys to the box as necessary. It's gonna drag out the conclusion of this game just a little bit, but I mean, this is sort of expected. A cross check for Lorenz and slashing the call on Lenny Young. So three people in the box apiece, but we stay five on five. Block shot and the other way goes Brendan Payne. Payne shoots. Getting a stick on that was Pettyett, but that stick has betrayed him now as it explodes and unfortunately, or fortunately for them, they get it out. Effort with a move. Effort toe drag, but Dudding did just enough to break that up and then going low in there was Erickson. Shot from Sparks is stopped by Sinclair. I think that's really about the only thing left to decide in this contest is whether or not Mr. Sinclair will wind up with that goose egg or not. Do you believe in the jinx? Will you say shut out? I'll say shut out. I'll say shut out. I have no problem. I, I don't believe in jinxes. <laughs> he can't hear us. I'm a goaltender. I think I'm allowed to say it. No, nah, that's actually another good point. I'm not a goaltender. I just do it. <laughs> believe it or not, we don't control the game. It's crazy. <laughs> Effort. He has a shot. You notice there. And he hangs on. No rebound. Up to 10 saves now here in this third period for Yanoda. Here's Effort just... Dancing his way in, almost got around Dudding too, but. Good active stick there. If you're gonna get beat on the body, nothing wrong with just kind of that last Hail Mary swing of the stick. Sometimes you'll even catch the offensive player thinking he's beat you, and that's kind of what happened there. He looked up at the net, and he didn't realize that the stick was swinging on its way back. I think the initial two penalties that were called have now resulted in people coming out of the penalty box, so a little bit more room down there for those guys. <laughs> Three minutes to go. Opening game of the Senior AA Provincials here in Wainwright. Anderson. Trying to get it through, but Dudley's there. Rhett Dudley, solid on the back end for the Daysland North Stars. Perfect is just going to take this one back and hand it off to Mitchell Gartner. Spent some time with Lloyd Minster and Drum Heller in the AJHL. Did Gartner? He's going to have to hustle back on defense here. Renier Let's try to spin away from Gartner, but that's great defensive play there by number 28 in white. Tough break there for Renier, but he's been good tonight. He's had a couple of rushes sparked by pretty much the him and him only. He's gone end to end a few times here. Costa Riva just winds up and fires. It's off a leg and bounces harmlessly to the boards and the puck is cleared by the North Stars. Hillmond just looking for something here with 100 seconds left to go. Couple guys on hat tricks too for the North Stars, including Brad Troutman, who has the puck right now. He needs his teammates to tag up, though, before he enters the offensive zone. Scored two in quick succession, as did Benefield. This is going to come back to Jacobson, the captain. New Norway, Alberta. Throws it down low. Effort's going to go into the corner against Costa Riva and win that one. Troutman. He's just staying on there because he's looking for that third one right now, I think. Can't blame him at all. Everyone <laughs> wants to get the hat trick. I'm not sure how many people in the crowd here are wearing hats. Not sure if he'll get a lot of love for it, but three always feels good. Stansfield lost the handle there. We're into the final 45 seconds here. McLeese just dumps it down. Yanoda plays it away from the onrushing Keller. McClellan dumps it in. Erickson's there. McClellan hooks it back for Payne. Payne leaves it there. That shot is blocked from Sparks. 
Sparks still with it. Nielsen, 15 to play. Upcoming penalty here too. Daysland. 13.8 seconds to go and we're gonna get another penalty. As Dean Pettiot likely to finish the game in the box, but Hillmond, I guess, could score real quick. He's having a laugh about it, so I don't think he's too worried. Interference is the call. All the other guys are out of the box now, so he's sitting solo. Daysland wins the draw. Ten seconds to go, and Dudley just rips it down the ice, and they stop the clock for some reason. And I think they're just going to... Not even allow that last rush to come up. Just let it run out, yep. And the clock runs down, and the Daysland North Stars win the opener here at the Senior AA Provincials. 7-0 over the Hillmon Hitman. A 24-save shutout for Andy Sinclair. Good way to start the tournament there for Daysland, and we touched on it off the start. These two teams play in different leagues, so it's kind of hard to tell. Like You basically just take the records in this weekend of every team and just crumble them up, throw them right out. Hillmon was 19-0 coming into this one. Daysland, on the other hand, 13-2-1, which is still a fantastic record, but you look at the team that won 19 games, and I mean, they ended up on the losing end by quite a large margin in this one. Two teams shake hands. They may see each other again in the playoff rounds, but it's a good start here for the Daysland North Stars, and I think especially for the first two periods, they were full value for their 7-0 victory here. Absolutely, and the thing I liked about this, they had a little bit of a spread out attack. Lane Lightning did get one on the power play, so one, it was nice to see their power play get one, but even apart from that, Lane Lightning playing on what I believe would be listed as their third line, but they really do spread out the minutes a lot, but Lane Lightning was generating a lot, and then of course, Benefield with a pair, Trotman with a pair, and then the Zimmer Keller effort line. They even chipped in with a pair in the first period. So they kind of had everyone sort of stepping up tonight. It was a real complete effort. Players have finished up their handshakes, and now they're going to go back to the blue lines, and we'll get the announcements of the players of the game. Of course, Tyler, you already know who they are because you're <laughs> the guy who picked them. So, so if anyone's <laughs> mad, they can come at me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Red. <laughs> Red Dudley having a little fun there. He went to go out there. Red Dudley had a good game too, but this one, Riley Benefield with a couple of goals there and just dynamic offensively from the blue line. Gets a nice plaque for it. Yeah, a couple times where he went down the wing and just completely ripped a shot. A couple chances there where uh, they had to be sharp as well. Like he was throwing it on net from pretty much anywhere and then Wayhill getting the nod for Hillmond. We mentioned a few times that he had a couple of really nice block shots while killing penalties, which he had to do a few times throughout this game, and a couple of nice offensive rushes. And then the one really good chance, which was a deflection in the high slot, just again, tonight, I don't think they were going to get anything past Sinclair. No, well, I think he made a good choice there as well <laughs> with Jared Wayhill. We talked about him a little bit too uh, in between periods as well, how well he was doing. So that uh, wraps up game one. Uh, a little bit more lopsided than maybe we would have hoped for or expected from a provincial tournament. But, hey, we got 10 more games to go this weekend, and I'm sure there will be some darn good ones as we take one quick look at the highlights from the match. There's the opening goal from Zimmer, and really that kind of set things off that in did. the right direction for Daysland. Yeah, for, for Daysland, absolutely. And then it wasn't too long after where they found a way to get that second one. There's Benefield throwing a hard shot low, and then it was eventually whacked in from effort, one of three points on the game for Benefield. And here was that first goal again. Like, he doesn't look like he puts much effort into it, but it finds the top corner. Really nicely done from Benefield. How about this pass, too, from McLeese to spring him on yeah. his second goal and just another laser beam from Benefield. He had that high glove spot absolutely picked out in this one. And then this is the chance they went off the crossbar from it, Lamb. It was a bit of a weird play. We still aren't 100% sure. You can show me 100 replays. I don't think I'd be able to figure <laughs> out how that puck ricocheted back onto the net. Lamb getting a point there on the lightning power play goal. And then Benefield here just setting things up. McLeese chips it back for Troutman. That was the first of two for him. And that was against uh, Oren Stang as well as there was a quick goalie change. And that second one from Troutman is awfully nice as he Deeks out the goaltender, and, and there you have it. No goals in the 
third period. Tournament hosted in Wainwright. We're looking forward to their game against Lethbridge. That'll be tonight as we say goodbye here from Wainwright. We'll see you at 5.30 for our second game. Thanks for joining us here on ICU Video Production. Thanks to cameraman Dave Foley, Alex Tetchwitz, our switcher, and Rob Zitlow, our director, Grayson Knudsen, saying goodbye as well for Tyler Riemchuk. We'll see you in a little while.